The Room. The greatest bad movie the world ever saw. <laughs> Directed, starring, written and produced by the mysterious, infamous and famous Tommy Wiseau. Uh, as you watch this cult movie, you wonder how in the world did it come into being? I mean, sure, you could go watch The Disaster Artist. I mean, I don't know how much information it could get you beyond the confines of putting the movie together. I mean... What kind of plant does this guy live on? I mean, Greg Sestero actually asks Johnny that in the film. <laughs> Uh, the movie The Room is about this guy, Johnny, played by Tommy Wiseau. Now, he's engaged to Lisa, but... Played by Juliette Danielle. But she is having affairs with Mark, Johnny's best friend. You have so many ridiculous side plots that go nowhere. <laughs> It is such a stupid movie. <laughs> Stupidly funny. I mean... <laughs> you could barely keep a straight face when you're watching this train wreck. But that's a good thing. Ugh. The amount of times I watch this movie and crack up at the famous moments like, You're tearing me apart, Lisa! And... The rooftop conversation with Mark. <laughs> Just find myself in stitches every time. There's so many moments in this movie to laugh at. Originally, Tommy Wiseau wanted this movie to be like a Tennessee Williams. Like that kind of thing, but really it's just a hilarious dark comedy. <laughs> And to be honest, I wouldn't have it any other way. And I think a lot of people could say that. You have other things like the Chris R sketch, the any scene involving Danny and Lisa. The most ridiculously ridiculously awful ridiculous, awfully dubbed dialogue. It is cringeworthy and laughable with every word said. <clears throat> Just... How does a movie like this even exist? There's lots of reviews out there on YouTube, like this one. You can see there's... Chris Stuckman, Doug Walker, the shit flick critic. They'll tell you the same. <laughs> this movie will ignite a love for bad movies. Uh, the Room most certainly lives up to its name. The best worst movie ever made. It has deserved its cult following. Midnight screenings. Oh, I wish I could go see one of those. It certainly deserved The Disaster Artist, the James Franco movie that came out a few years back. Which is such an inspiring tale. The book's really good as well. You should give that a read. So, to conclude, I'm going to give the room an F, but I'm also going to give it an A+. Plus. Best, worst, or worst, best, you decide. So that was my abridged 
movie review of The Room. I've got one from, I have one for my old channel. Now you've got one for my new one. So there you have it. The Room. <laughs> what a story, Mark. I have an old wig, I just, back at the, back at my university campus, but. Anyway, that's it, really. Okay. So that's my review for the room. Check out all my other videos. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. You guys are the best. Look forward to more. Go for more. Peace and out. Cut the check.